Hi, I'm Matt from Parkshore Insurance. We get the odd occasion when a client rings us up with an alternative quotation which is unbelievably cheap. Now there's normally a good reason for this and it's usually that they've insured with someone who doesn't quite understand what they are insuring and have insured the residential park home as a brick built bungalow. So here's my top tip to make sure that you are insured on the correct basis. Now, first of all, to explain the risks, a residential park home or mobile home is by insurance standards classed as a non-standard risk property. It's not made of bricks and mortar, basically, like a normal bungalow is. You therefore need a specialist park home insurance policy to cater for the specific needs attached to such a risk. Now, it sounds straightforward, but sometimes the client and indeed the insurer get this wrong or things can be lost in translation. A client may in all honesty ring a house insurer and explain they are living in a mobile home and the inexperienced sales advisor may get the wrong end of the stick or just not know what a park home is and insurers if living in a built bungalow. Now this sounds far-fetched but trust me it does and has happened. In fact we almost lost a client recently hence why I'm doing this top tips. Luckily in that case both the client and the insurer realised their mistake before they went ahead with the cheaper quotation. In fact, the insurer question in question couldn't insure a mobile home. The reason it's cheaper, well, think about it. If you have a fire or a flood in a park home, your home is likely to be written off. In a brick built property, they can dry it out or rebuild it. It's much less likely to be written off. Insurance is like most things. You get what you pay for. In insurance, you pay for the risk which in, in a park home, unfortunately, is a lot more. Now, I know we've lost business in the past because the client thinks it's the insurer's mistake or they have knowingly misrepresented the truth or facts in order to get a cheaper quotation. After all, any insurance is better than none, isn't it? Well, no, it isn't. If you're insured on the incorrect basis, you may find that you have no insurance cover at all. Or worse, you may have committed insurance fraud and could be prosecuted. But what if you've been honest and it's the insurer's mistake? Now, a cheaper deal such as this may seem too good to pass up. After all, it's the insurance company's fault if they got it wrong, isn't it? Well, actually, the emphasis is always on the customer to check and make sure they are insured on the correct basis. However, nowadays, as long as you have answered truthfully and honestly and to the best of your knowledge, you should be OK. But you should always check your proposal form or statement of fact and the policy wording to make sure all the information is correct. If you're insured on the incorrect home insurance policy, you may find you're inadequately covered or worse, not covered at all. Why risk it? So how can you make sure this doesn't happen? Well, quite easily, really. First of all, make sure you ring one of the park home or mobile home insurance specialists to get your quotation. Chances are, whoever you used before for your bricks and mortar home or bungalow, won't be able to insure your park home. Your old insurer won't know what they're insuring. So make sure if you're searching in a search engine, you type in park home insurance, or better yet, buy one of the park home magazines. The park home and holiday caravan magazine is a very good one. and will detail all the major park home insurance specialists. Then ring round and make sure you're insured with an insurer who knows what they're talking about. And who you are comfortable with and offers good cover. Again, as I said, insurance is like most things, you get what you pay for. So the cheaper option isn't always the best. Check the cover. This is your largest purchase after all, so it's important to get it insured on the correct basis and with good cover. Our policy is one of the widest covers on the market, includes vermin and boiler breakdown cover, but I'll let that speak for itself when you ring us. It does what it says on the tin is a very good saying from an advert you may have watched and insurance is the same. Does your quotation and insurance policy mention the words residential, park home or mobile home? If not, how can you be sure you're insured correctly, if at all? All residential park home insurance claims are settled on the specific policy in question. So make sure you check yours thoroughly and look for those specific words. Does the policy wording show a mobile home on the front, or is it just a generic bin bungalow or house? A park home insurance specialist should have a policy that matches their specialisation and therefore have a policy with wording and photos to match. If yours does not, 
and maybe you're insured on the wrong policy, or with a company that's adapted a brick home policy to suit, or maybe you're just insured with a wrong policy, a wrong company. Again, why risk it? Insure with one who specialises. So to sum up, make sure you obtain your quotation from one of the park home or mobile home insurance specialists that advertise themselves as such. Using the Park Home and Holiday Caravan magazine is a good way to make sure you're dealing with a Park Home insurance specialist. Make sure that your quotation document and policy show and mention residential park home or mobile home. Does it have a photo of a park home or just a generic bungalow? You want a policy which you know is specific to the park home industry. Check the premium. Is it too good to be true? Well, this is probably because they think you're in a brick built bungalow, which are far cheaper to insure as they're less likely to burn down or get written off in a fire, flood or escape of water. Remember, it's easier to repair a brick built property. It will dry out and can be repaired in the event of a fire. Whereas your park home policy or your park home is likely to be written off. If the premium is far below your existing one and the rest of the market, there's a reason. If the premium is too good to be true, it probably is. If in doubt, ask. Insurance is two ways. It might sound obvious, but it is. The insurers have to know you're being truthful and honest when they're insuring uh, exactly what you tell them they are. And you need to be happy that you're insured on the correct basis. Trust me, no insurer wants to turn down a claim because they insured it on the wrong basis. It's bad for the industry. So be honest and make sure you are happy that you are insured correctly. If you follow our advice, you won't go far wrong. And remember that our comprehensive park home policy is widely regarded as one of the best on the market and includes vermin and boiler breakdown cover, which of course a lot of the others don't. Good luck.